राहुल चांदेकरा फ्रॉम डॉक्टर सुभाष टेक्निकल कैंपस डिग्री इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट जूनागढ़ टुडेज आवर वीडियो लेक्चर टॉपिक इज सर्किट ब्रेकर बिफोर स्टार्ट सर्किट ब्रेकर फर्स्ट वी स्टडीड वॉट इज आर्क एंड वॉट इज आर्क इंटरप्शन As per previous lecture, the during the operation of power system, it is often desirable and necessary to switch on or off the various circuit, like transmission line, distributor, generating plants. Under both normal and abnormal condition, in earlier days, this function used to be performed by a switch and a fuse placed in series. with the circuit however such a means of control presents two days advantages first when fuse blow out it takes quite some time to replace it and restore supply to the customer secondly a fuse cannot successfully interrupt heavy fault current that result from fault on modern high voltage and large capacity circuit due to this disadvantages the use of switch and fuse is limited to low voltage and small capacity circuit like domestic use for frequent operation are not expected for switching and protection of distribution transformer lighting circuit branch circuit of distribution line so the solution is circuit breaker a circuit breaker is a piece of equipment which can make or break a circuit either manually or by remote control under normal condition break circuit automatically under fault condition make a circuit either manually or by remote control under fault condition this circuit breaker incorporates manually or remote control as well as automatic control for switching function the latter control employs relay and operates only under fault condition circuit breaker essentially consist of fix and moving contacts called electrodes under normal operating condition this contact remain closed and will not open automatically until and unless the system become faulty of course the contact can be open manually or by remote control whatever desire when a fault occur on any part of the system the trip coils of the circuit breaker get energized and the moving contacts are pulled apart by the some mechanism this opening the circuit when the contact of circuit breaker are separated under fault condition an arc is struck between them the current is this able to continue until the discharge causes the production of arc not only delays the current interruption process but it also generate enormous heat which may cause damage to the system or to the circuit breaker itself so arc phenomenon when circuit short circuit occurs a heavy current flow through the contact of the circuit breaker before they are opened by the protective system at the instant when the contact begin to separate the contact area decrease rapidly and large fault current cause increase current density and hence rise in temperature the heat produced in the medium between contacts is sufficient to ionize the air or vaporize and ionize the oil the potential difference between the contact is quite small and is just sufficient to maintain the arc the arc provide a low resistance path and consequently the current in the circuit remains uninterrupted so long as the arc is present now this is the information from the previous lecture for today's lecture about the circuit breaker the little bit introduction about the circuit breaker 
इन सर्किट ब्रेकर ऑटोमेटिकली ऑपरेटेड इलेक्ट्रिकल स्विच प्रोटेक्ट एन इलेक्ट्रिकल स्विच फ्रॉम ओवरलोड और शॉर्ट सर्किट बेजिक फंक्शन फोल्ड डिटेक्शन एंड इंटरप करंट फ्लो ऑफ द सर्किट ब्रेकर इट्स बेजिक फंक्शन फर्स्ट इज फोल्ड डिटेक्शन एंड इंटरप करंट फ्लो सो देट द एप्लायसिस आर नॉट डेमेज और सिस्टम विल नॉट डेमेज एंड प्रोटेक्टेड बाय द सर्किट ब्रेकर कैन बी रिसेट टू रिज्यूम एप्लीकेशन आफ्टर सर्किट ब्रेकर इंटरप्टेड इट कैन बी रिज्यूम आफ्टर सॉल्विंग द फोल्ड अवेलेबल इन वेराइटी ऑफ साइज दे आर लॉट्स ऑफ टाइप्स ऑफ सर्किट ब्रेकर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट ओरिजिन वेर इट इस्टाब्लिश द सर्किट ब्रेकर अर्ली फ्रॉम डेवलप बाय थॉमस एडिसन इन एटीन सेवेंटी नाइन पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन टू प्रोटेक्ट लाइटिंग सर्किट वायरिंग फ्रॉम एक्सीडेंटल शॉर्ट सर्किट सो दिस इज इन फर्स्ट इन्वेंटेड इन एटीन सेवेंटी नाइन मॉडर्न एम पेटेंटेड बाय ब्राउन बोवेरी एंड सी इन नाइनटीन सो इट इज वेरी यूजफुल डिवाइस for our electrical circuits how it circuit breaker operate a fault condition must be detected once fault detected contact within circuit breaker some mechanical stored energy stored in the circuit breaker and some energy utilized from the fault current so store energy and fault energy operate circuit breaker circuit breaker contacts carry the load current without getting heated so it can be uh, uh, regularly work or normal condition for the load current limit for arc in arc generated which is control and extinguish in a control way extinguish means extinction or extinguish arc interruption low voltage mcb air larger rating metallic or non metallic arc clutch for gas circuit breaker dielectric strength of sulfur hexafluoride it's sf6 gas in vacuum circuit breaker minimal arcing for air circuit breaker it used by compressed air so this is the arc interruption technique for different circuit breaker likewise for air circuit breaker is a compressed air it will be blow out for the arc interruption vacuum circuit breaker it use minimal arcing gas circuit breaker it use direct strength of sulfur hexafluoride gas for low voltage mcb air or large rating metallic or non metallic arc clutch used for arc interruption for short circuit current circuit breaker circuit breaker rated normal current they can carry and maximum short circuit current they can safely carry so in normal condition it can carry the load current and for fault the maximum short circuit current they can safely carry under short circuit condition current much larger than normal current flow so more than 10 times almost electrical contacts open to interrupt large current arc is produced so between two contacts a fixed contacts and moving contacts when a fault occurs a trip circuit is ionized and moving contacts separate from fixed contact and arc produced between fixed contacts and moving contacts and it can be interrupt large current by the arc so the type of circuit breaker this is the 
simple information about the circuit breaker a basic lecture regarding circuit breaker then after we will see one by one circuit breaker the low voltage circuit breaker magnetic circuit breaker thermal magnetic circuit breaker common trip circuit breaker medium voltage circuit breaker sulfur hexafluoride high voltage circuit breaker disconnecting circuit breaker carbon dioxide high voltage circuit breaker also we will see in this chapter air circuit breaker air blast circuit breaker minimum oil circuit breaker sf6 sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker oil circuit breaker and minimum oil mocb it's a minimum oil circuit breaker in in this chapter so one by one we just check how the circuit breaker look like and its function and its application the image is a real image in this topic so the first one is low voltage circuit breaker we might we might be seen in our domestic applications common in domestic industrial and commercial application include mcb type b type c and type d and mccb so this is the real picture of low voltage circuit breaker it given by international standard often installed in draw out enclosures also made for dc application so this is the basic low voltage circuit breaker used for domestic purpose for prevent the fault in domestic appliances like free like fridge ac so next one is the magnetic circuit breaker so magnetic circuit breaker solenoid pulling action increase the current so when current increase beyond the rated solenoid its pull release the latch and contact opened by spring action some magnetic circuit breaker incorporate a hydraulic time delay during overload fluid restrict solenoid motion permitted for short current surges so it is basic application of magnetic circuit breaker the next is thermal magnetic circuit breaker so we can see in this picture this is the real picture of thermal magnetic circuit breaker mostly found in distribution boards use both technique electromagnet responding instantaneously to large surge surge in current bimetallic strip responding to less extreme but longer term over current condition so this is all our circuit breaker now the common trip circuit breaker supplying a branch circuit more than one live conductor when one pole trips all live conductor must be interrupted either contain two or three tripping mechanism two pole common trip breakers are common on 120 230 volts system three pole common trip breaker are used to supply three phase electric supply to large machines two or four poles breaker may be used to disconnect multiple phase ac or neutral wire <clears throat> so the two or three tripping mechanism is mostly used for 120 to 230 volts and three pole common trip breaker has are used for three phase electrical supply and two or four pole breaker may be used to disconnect multiple phase ac or neutral wire this is the medium voltage circuit breaker it's rated between 1 to 72 kilovolt 
operated by current sensing protective relays operated through current transformer so it's required a relay and ct classified according to the medium used to extinguish the arc extinguish the arc it means have to destroy arc or turn off the arc vacuum circuit breaker air circuit breaker and ex uh, sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker sf6 circuit breaker are use this type of mechanism we studied medium volt circuit breaker now the next point is high voltage circuit breaker this is the figure of high voltage circuit breaker protect and control electrical power transmission usually rating of 72.5 kw or higher more than the 72.5 kw rating mostly solenoid operated with current sensing relay operated through current transformer broadly classified according to the medium used to extinguish the arc by using this type of phenomena using bulk oil circuit breaker minimum oil circuit breaker we call it mocb air blast circuit breaker vacuum circuit breaker sulfur hexafluoride sf6 circuit breaker and carbon dioxide circuit breaker so this thing are most probably used for high voltage circuit breaker so now we check the what is the sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker so next topic is sulfur hexafluoride high voltage circuit breaker use context surrounded by sulfur hexafluoride to quench the arc for extinguish the arc or extinction the arc often used for transmission level voltages and may be incorporated into compact gas for insulated switch gear in cold climate supplemental heating or derating of the circuit breaker may be required so it's very useful we also when we study the sulfur hexafluoride sf6 circuit breaker we also um, get the knowledge of the property of sf6 gas and sf6 circuit breaker and its application disconnecting circuit breaker this is, this video is based on this information about the common use circuit breaker high voltage circuit breaker model after sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker so whatever the disadvantage in sf6 circuit breaker will be conduct with the advantage in disconnected circuit breaker disconnecting function integrated in the breaking chamber to increase the availability reduce the space requirement within the substation increase the reliability so these things are compact in size so this is this connecting circuit breaker for main purpose to reduce the space requirement within the substation the sf6 circuit breaker is required more space air blast circuit breaker or air circuit breaker required air compressor for arc quench or arc extinguish so this is the compact one carbon dioxide high voltage circuit breaker work on the same per principle as sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker can also be produced as a disconnecting circuit breaker it also used for high voltage breaker possible to reduce nearly 10 tons of carbon dioxide emission during the product lifetime the advantage of circuit breaker 
or other switch gears disconnect the entire load instead of a single load so whenever we put it the circuit breaker from that point we can disconnect the entire load from the circuit breaker provide better protection to three phase motors less cost provides greater reliability and safety and the low cost of circuit breaker this is the advantage of circuit breaker now the disadvantage of circuit breaker first the installation and initial cost is high as compared to the operating cost react less quicker than a fuse more sensitive to vibration and movement so circuit breaker is an essential part of electrical network as it protects every device from electrical damage from short circuit from any fault help us to detect the fault and the area associated with it nowadays vacuum and sulfur hexa fluoride circuit breaker are widely used rather than other circuit breaker due to their reliable and fast operation the all the circuit breaker are work on a base of arc principle of arc extinction it is necessary to examine the factor responsible for the maintenance of arc between the contacts potential difference between the contacts and ionized particles between contacts so the when the contact have small separation the potential difference between them is sufficient to maintain the arc so when the contact have a small separation the potential difference between them is sufficient to maintain the arc one way to extinguish the arc extinguish it means to turn off the arc is to separate the contact to such a distance that power potential difference become very low to maintain the arc however this method is impracticable in high voltage system where a separation of many meters may be required so only the separation is not sufficient to arc extinguish or arc extinction so we have to ionize particles between contacts so there are mainly two method of extinguishing the arc in circuit breaker the first high resistance method in this method arc resistance is made to increase with time so that current is reduced to value insufficient to maintain the arc so whenever the arc is produced the arc resistance is increase with time so the current is reduced to value insufficient value to maintain the arc consequently the current is interrupted or the arc is extinguished the principal disadvantage of disadvantage of this method is that enormous energy is dissipated in the arc therefore it is employ only a dc circuit breaker and low capacity ac circuit breaker the resistance of the arc may be increased by lengthening the arc cooling the arc reduce cross section of the arc and a splitting the arc splitting arc it means by using splitter we can split the arc in some sample or we can say that sampling the total arc is cut in the number of pieces so individual strength of that piece of arc is very low so we can easily extinguish the arc 
द लो रेजिस्टेंस और करंट जीरो मेथड दिस इज द एम्प्लॉय फॉर द आर्क एक्सटेंशन इन एसी सर्किट ओनली सो इन एसी सर्किट वी देर इज द करंट जीरो वेन द पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल एंड बिटवीन द पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव हाफ साइकिल इन दिस मैथड आर्क रजिस्टेंस इज कैप लो अंटिल करंट इज जीरो वेर द आर्क एक्सटिंग यूज नेचुरली एंड इज प्रिवेंटेड फ्रॉम रिस्ट्राइकिंग इन स्पाइट ऑफ द राइजिंग वोल्टेज एक्रॉस द कॉन्टेक्स वेन द जीरो क्रॉसिंग अकर्स द आर्क इज एक्सटिंग यूज वेन इट अगेन स्टार्ट द देट मोमेंट इट्स कॉल्ड राइजिंग वोल्टेज एक्रॉस द कॉन्टेक्स एंड देट वी प्रिवेंट फ्रॉम रिस्ट्राइकिंग रिस्ट्राइकिंग ऑल मॉडर्न हाई पावर एसी सर्किट ब्रेकर एम्प्लॉयज दिस मेथड फॉर आर्क एक्सटिंगशन फर्स्ट लेंथनिंग ऑफ द गैप बाय मूविंग बाय इंक्रीज द गैप बिटवीन फिक्स एंड मूविंग कॉन्टैक्ट बाय एंड दैट हाई प्रेशर ऑफ एयर एंड द कूलिंग एंड अगेन द ब्लास्ट इफेक्ट बाय यूजिंग एयर so again the important terms in circuit breaker that are arc voltage it is the voltage that appears across the contact of circuit breaker during the arcing period as soon as the contact of the circuit breaker separate an arc is formed the voltage that appears across the contacts during arcing period is called the arc voltage so in, this is the most terms are used in the entire subject so we should know the what is the meaning of arc voltage this striking voltage recovery voltage and don't confuse between these three terms the arc voltage the minimum voltage required to required for the arc the next term is restriking voltage it is the transient voltage that appears across the contact at or near current zero during arcing period so it is a transient voltage appears across the contact or near current zero during the arcing period so last one is the recovery voltage it is the normal frequency 50 hertz root mean square voltage rms voltage that appear across the contact of the circuit breaker after final arc extinction so when arc is extinguished then after require voltage that called recovery voltage it is ap approximately equal to the system voltage so breaking voltage is for when arc is start the pro produce the arc arc voltage it maintain the arc restriking voltage is the transient voltage and recovery voltage is the when arc is extinguished the fault is recover and and for connecting the system or again for normal condition the voltage required is recovery voltage it is an approximately equal to the system or normal supply input voltage so in this lecture we studied the function of circuit breaker how arc is produced and the method of arc extinguish or arc extinction different type of circuit breaker so just note down the name of circuit breaker and its application so again to summarize the type of circuit breaker whatever we are using in domestic industrial applications low voltage circuit breaker magnetic circuit breaker 
थर्मल मैग्नेटिक सर्किट ब्रेकर कॉमन ट्रिप सर्किट ब्रेकर मीडियम वोल्टेज सर्किट ब्रेकर एंड द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेड सर्किट ब्रेकर इज सल्फर हेक्सा फ्लोराइड हाई वोल्टेज सर्किट ब्रेकर एंड डिसकनेक्टिंग सर्किट ब्रेकर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड हाई वोल्टेज सर्किट ब्रेकर थैंक यू